good day viewers i hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this video from this is your tutor mr mlenga so as you can see i want us to look at 2019 mathematics paper 2 uh this is for external candidates okay specifically equation equation on number eight that is coming from trigonometry okay so i've done a lot of videos on trig you can go back you refer so that you get more more ideas so let's see how we can uh, answer this question the question reads in triangle abc below this is the triangle abc okay so ac a c is equal to 275 kilometers okay angle b a c angle b a c meaning the angle at a is 125 degrees okay and angle a c b angle a c b the angle at c is 40 degrees right so question a roman numeral one calculate the distance b c so they want you to find the distance b c from b to C. Okay, Roman numeral 2, calculate the area of triangle ABC. Now they want you to find the area of this triangle. Roman numeral 3, they want you to calculate the shortest distance from A to BC. From A to BC. So this we know the shortest distance. They are talking about this line. This is the shortest distance, not so. Okay, so B, the question is solve the equation 13 cos theta is equal to 5. For 0 degrees less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 360 degrees. So this is uh, the question that you are going to answer. We are going to start with question A. Alright, so uh, let's answer now Roman numeral 1. I want you to find the distance BC from B to C, okay? Mm -hmm. So the way you can find this distance BC, you are being given two angles. Two angles are given and one side. Now they want you to find the other side, okay? So the rule that you can use, remember I've got the cosine rule and the, the sine rule. The only rule that you can use here, which is going to be applicable, is what? The sine rule, okay? Why? Because we have two sides, one side. Now, here, where there is A, this side BC is going to be presented by a small letter A, okay? Here we have B. The small side B is going to be presented by uh, letter B, where we have AC, we have small letter B, where we have BC, we have small letter A. So, having this now idea, you understand that you are going to use the sine what? The sine rule. Now, how can you apply the sine rule? The way you can apply the sine rule, we are going to use this side because we want to find the second side. So, we are going to use this side and this side which you don't have. Then, the angle, we are going to use the angle at A and one angle should be where? At B right there. Okay, now we don't know the angle which is at B. Okay, so first find the angle at B. And in order for you to find the angle at B, you have been given here. So you say, let's say angle B, okay, equal to. So to find the angle at B, since this is a triangle, okay, the sum of the angles in a triangle add up to 108. So I'm just going to add this plus this, then you subtract from 180. So I'm going to have 180 minus. So add 125 plus 40, 125 degrees plus 40 degrees. Remember, we are just finding the angle for B. So angle B is equal to. So you get your calculator. This is the paper 2. Okay. Just punch, you say 180 minus. In brackets, you have 125 plus 40. Okay. So... Uh, we are going to have a 15 what degrees we are going to have a 15 degrees so this means that here at b we had 15 degrees now we can apply the sine rule okay we are going to say this uh, b over sine b meaning the angle at b okay is equal to we have the small letter a there okay over sine a or you can where you have put a you can put this one bc it's fine because that is the length side you want so from there just compute okay where there is b you are going to put what 275 this one okay where there is sine b 
this B is representing an angle which is 15. Where there is A, there is nothing because it's the side that you want. Where there is sign A, this A is representing an angle which is 125. So we are just going to substitute. Alright, so I've said where there is B, this is the B, 275. So I write 275 over sine. This B is the angle which is at B, 15 degrees, is equal to A. This is the side for A, which is BC. Okay, so just write A over sine. A, this capital letter A, representing an angle at A, which is 125 degrees. Okay, so from here, what you do, just do this. Close what? Multiply. Where you say, uh, sine 15 times A, you are going to have sine 15 times A. Then, uh, 275 times sine 125. You can multiply those on your calculator. 275 times sine 125. Okay? You are going to get this value, which is uh, 225. I've multiplied this and this. Okay, make sure that you also multiply. I might make a mistake as I'm calculating here. So it's very important that you are following through. Remember, I want to find the value of A. So you have to get rid of this sine 15 by dividing both sides by sine 15, even this side by sine 15. So this sine 15 and this sine 15 you will cancel also. Okay, what will be your value of A? Alright, so here I will remain with A equal to. So for me, I've, I've got this number on top, 225.266822. It's on my calculator, you can see. It's here. Okay. So what I'm just going to do is, I'll just say divide. My answer will divide with it. Sine 15. Okay. Sine 15. Okay. This is the, the value that I'm getting, which is 870.3641268. Alright. So, this is for A. Therefore, I'll write there for BC. This side BC. So, I'm going to write my answer correct to three significant what? Figures. So, it's 8, 7, this 0 make it 3. Okay? There's the number which can round off 0, it's a 3, which is less than 5. So, it's just going to be like this. I even write, uh, what are the units? Kilometers. Okay. So, this is the answer to our first what? Question. Alright. So, we are now on question 2. They want you to calculate the area of triangle ABC. So this symbol, this symbol, it means triangle, area of triangle ABC. So how do you find the area of the triangle? The first thing is come up with the, the formula where you say area is equal to 1 over 2 times. In this case, the size that you have, you have this side being presented by small letter B, and you have this side being presented by small letter T, A. Those are the two sides you are going to use. So, you say A times B times sine. Now, they said A, B, C. So, the rate on the middle is B. So, we are going to use the angle at B. So, the angle at B is a 15 degrees. Okay? So, we are going to say sine B. Make sure you follow that. If you miss that, you use a different angle. You are going to have a wrong answer. So, let's just substitute. Area is equal to 1 over 2 times the value of A, the small letter A is here. We answered that it was 870. 870. B here, which is 275. 275 times sine. The angle at B is 15 degrees. Okay? So, area equal to. So, just multiply. 870 times 275 times sine 15. After doing that, then you divide with the 2. Okay? Then see the value that you are going to get. So we say 870 times 275 times sine 15. Okay? Uh, this is 
uh, this is the value that I'm getting okay this is the value that I'm getting this is the value that I'm getting I've just multiplied the numerators okay so what I'll do is I'll I'll divide by 2 okay I'll divide by 2 so I'll say divide by 2 then my answer will be 30961.22827 okay so let's leave our answer correct to three significant figures therefore the final answer the area of this triangle is going to be 30 okay so let me uh, rub here so 3 0, 9. Now this 9 is going to be rounded off by 6. I want you to follow me nicely. So this 9 is going to be rounded off by 6. Okay? So um, the way it's going to be is 6 here it's a 1. So 1 plus 9 to become a 10. Huh? So that's 10. You're not going to write a 10 here. That 1 from 10, you're going to add it to 0. It becomes 1. Okay? The near 9 will remain with 0. So remember, you have got two zeros here. So you write zero, zero. So area is equal to three one uh, zero zero zero. Then what are the units? So you say square kilometer, like this. So this is our area. Okay, this is our area. You now move on to the second question. Now move on to the second question. Alright, so we've come to Roman numero 3, where they want you to calculate the shortest distance from A to BC. So if you remember, just during the introduction of this lesson, I did say that the shortest distance from A to BC, we are coming from this point and going this side, okay? This is the shortest what, distance, this one right here. Okay, so uh, this one comes right angle. So this is your shortest distance. So how can you find the shortest distance? So we are going to say SD standing in for shortest distance is equal to. So we are going to say 2 times the area, okay, over the base, okay, which is uh, BC. Because it's going to BC. So we are going to use this base, BC. Over, you say, BC. So shortest distance is equal to. 2 times, what is your area, okay? So if your area was wrong, even this question, you get it wrong. Your area was 3, uh, 1, 0, 0, 0. Not so. Over the base, what is the base BC? It's 870, okay? So you can cancel this 0 and that 0, okay? Then you just say, shortest distance is equal to, let's just multiply everything there. Let's just multiply everything where you get your calculator and you multiply 2 times uh, 3, 1, 2 times 3, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So the answer that you get, you divide by 8, 7. So I'll write my answer. Right. So when you multiply 2 times uh, the values that you had divided by 8, 7, the shortest distance, so you say, uh, the shortest distance from from A to BC is equal to. So you are just going to say seventy one point three kilometers. Okay, this is the answer. So it means here you had the shortest distance of seventy one point three kilometers. Now, let's answer the last question. All right, so we've come to, to the last part of the question, okay? This is our last question. Okay, solve the equation. 13 cos theta is equal to 5 for 0 degrees less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 360. So pay attention to this range, okay? Because your answers that you are going to come up with, they should be within this range, okay? So the first thing, you copy the equation, which is 13 cos theta equal to 5. Then step 2, I uh, want to get rid of this 13, which is on the left-hand side. So I'm going to divide by 13 
even this side 13 so that this 13 and this 13 you cancel you remain with cos theta is equal to 5 over 13 now from here we are going to find now the basic angle where you find the cos you press shift yes so uh there once you press uh on your calculator there you know, the cos inverse of 5 divided by 13 okay uh so for me i will you get this you get 7.380 